Aquarius is a constellation of the zodiac, between Capricornus and Pisces. Its name is Latin for water carrier or cup carrier, and its old astronomical symbol is, a representation of water. Aquarius is one of the oldest of the recognized constellations along the zodiac. It was one of the 48 constellations listed by the 2nd century astronomer Ptolemy, and it remains one of the 88 modern constellations. It is found in a region often called the sea due to its profusion of constellations with watery associations such as Cetus the whale, Pisces the fish, and Aridinus the river. At apparent magnitude 2. 9. Beta Aquaria is the brightest star in the constellation. Aquarius is identified as Gu. L.A. the Great One in the Babylonian star catalogues and represents the god E.A. himself, who is commonly depicted holding an overflowing vase. The Babylonian star figure appears on entitlement stones and cylinder seals from the second millennium. It contained the winter solstice in the early Bronze Age. In old Babylonian astronomy, E.A. was the ruler of the southernmost quarter of the sun's path, the way of E.A., corresponding to the period of 45 days on either side of winter solstice. Aquarius was also associated with the destructive floods that the Babylonians regularly experienced, and thus was negatively connoted. In ancient Egypt astronomy, Aquarius was associated with the annual flood of the Nile, the banks were said to flood when Aquarius put his jar into the river, beginning spring. In the Greek tradition, the constellation came to be represented simply as a single vase from which a stream poured down to Pisces Austrinus. The name in the Hindu zodiac is likewise Kumbha water pitcher. In Greek mythology, Aquarius is sometimes associated with Deucalion, the son of Prometheus who built a ship with his wife Pyrrha to survive an imminent flood. They sailed for nine days before washing ashore on Mount Parnassus. Aquarius is also sometimes identified with beautiful Ganymede, a youth in Greek mythology and the son of Trojan King Tros, who was taken to Mount Olympus by Zeus to act as cup carrier to the gods. Neighboring Aquila represents the eagle, under Zeus' command, that snatched the young boy. Some versions of the myth indicate that the eagle was in fact Zeus transformed. An alternative version of the tale recounts Ganymede's kidnapping by the goddess of the dawn, Eos, motivated by her affection for young men, Zeus then stole him from Eos and employed him as cupbearer. Yet another figure associated with the water-bearer is Cecrops I, a king of Athens who sacrificed water instead of wine to the gods. A representation of Aquarius printed in 1825 as part of Urania's mirror in the 1st century, Ptolemy's Almagest established the common western depiction of Aquarius. His water jar, an asterism itself, consists of gamma, pi, eta, and zeta Aquarii, it pours water in a stream of more than 20 stars terminating with fumilat, now assigned solely to Pisces Austrinus. The water-bearer's head is represented by 5th magnitude 25 Aquarii while his left shoulder is beta Aquarii, his right shoulder and forearm are represented by alpha and gamma Aquarii respectively. In Chinese astronomy, the stream of water flowing from the water jar was depicted as the army of Yulin. The name Yulin means feathers in forests, referring to the numerous light-footed soldiers from the northern reaches of the empire represented by these faint stars. The constellation stars were the most numerous of any Chinese constellation, numbering 45, the majority of which were located in modern Aquarius. The celestial army was protected by the wall of Bizen, which counted Iota, Lambda, Phi, and Sigma Aquarii among its 12 stars. 88, 89, and 98 Aquarii represent Fuyu, the axes used as weapons and for hostage executions. Also in Aquarius is Lui Pai Chin, the ramparts that stretch from 29 and 27 Piscium and 33 and 30 Aquarii through Phi, Lambda, Sigma, and Iota Aquarii to Delta, Gamma, Kappa, and Epsilon Capricorni. Near the border with Cetus, the ex Fu Yue was represented by three stars, its position is disputed and may have instead been located in sculptor. Xinliasheng also has a disputed position, the 13-star castle replete with ramparts may have possessed Nu and Xi Aquarii but may instead have been located south in Pisces Austrinus. The water jar asterism was seen to the ancient Chinese as the tomb, Fenmu. Nearby, the emperor's mausoleum Shalayang stood, demarcated by Kappa Aquarii and three other collinear stars. Ku and Qi, each composed of two stars, were located in the same region. Three of the Chinese lunar mansions shared their name with constellations. Nu, also the name for the tenth lunar mansion, was a handmaiden represented by Epsilon, Mu, Three, and Four Aquarii. The eleventh lunar mansion shared its name with the constellation Shu, formed by Beta Aquarii and Alpha Aquilii, it represented a bleak place associated with death and funerals. 
Way the rooftop and 12th lunar mansion, was a V-shaped constellation formed by Alpha Aquarii, Theta Pegasi, and Epsilon Pegasi. It shared its name with two other Chinese constellations, in modern-day Scorpius and Aries. The constellation Aquarius as it can be seen by the naked eye despite both its prominent position on the zodiac and its large size, Aquarius has no particularly bright stars, its four brightest stars being less than magnitude 2. However, recent research has shown that there are several stars lying within its borders that possess planetary systems. The two brightest stars, Alpha and Beta Aquarii, are luminous yellow supergiants, of spectral types G0 Ib and G2 Ib respectively, that were once hot blue white B class main sequence stars 5 to 9 times as massive as the Sun. The two are also moving through space perpendicular to the plane of the Milky Way. Just shading Alpha, Beta Aquarii is the brightest star in Aquarius with an apparent magnitude of 2. 91. It also has the proper name of Sadal So. Having cooled and swollen to around 50 times the Sun's diameter, it is around 2,200 times as luminous as the Sun. It is around 6. 4 times as massive as the Sun and around 56 million years old. Sadal So is 540 plus or minus 20 light years from Earth. Alpha Aquaria, also known as Sadal Melik, has an apparent magnitude of 2. 94. It is 520 plus or minus 20 light years distant from Earth, and is around 6. 5 times as massive as the Sun and 3000 times as luminous. It is 53 million years old. Gamma Aquaria, also called Sichbia, is a white main sequence star of spectral type star of spectral type A0V that is between 158 and 315 million years old and is around two and a half times the Sun's mass, and double its radius. Of magnitude 3. 85, it is 164 plus or minus 9 light years away. It has a luminosity of 50 liters. The name Sijbia comes from the Arabic for lucky stars of the tense, Sidalic Bia. Delta Aquaria, also known as Scott or Shiat, is a blue-white A2 spectral type star of apparent magnitude 3. 27 and luminosity of 105 liters. Epsilon Aquaria, also known as Albali, is a blue-white A1 spectral type star with an apparent magnitude of 3. 77, an absolute magnitude of 1. 2, and a luminosity of 28 liters. Zeta Aquaria is an F2 spectral type double star, both stars are white. Overall, it appears to be of magnitude 3. 6 and luminosity of 50 liters. The primary has a magnitude of 4. 53 and the secondary a magnitude of 4. 31, but both have an absolute magnitude of 0. 6. Its orbital period is 760 years, the two components are currently moving farther apart. Theta Aquarii, sometimes called Ancha, is a G8 spectral type star with an apparent magnitude of 4. 16 and an absolute magnitude of 1. 4. Kappa Aquarii, also called Sichula, has an apparent magnitude of 5. 03. Lambda Aquarii, also called Hador or Ekechusis, is an M2 spectral type star of magnitude 3. 74 and luminosity of 120 liters. Xi Aquarii, also called Bunda, is an A7 spectral type star with an apparent magnitude of 4. 69 and an absolute magnitude of 2. 4. Pi Aquaria, also called C, is a B0 spectral type star with an apparent magnitude of 4. 66 and an absolute magnitude of minus 4. 1. 12 exoplanet systems have been found in Aquarius as of 2013. Gliese 876, one of the nearest stars to Earth at a distance of 15 light years, was the first red dwarf star to be found to possess a planetary system. It is orbited by four planets, including one terrestrial planet 6. Six times the mass of Earth. The planets vary in orbital period from 2 days to 124 days. 91 Aquarii is an orange giant star orbited by one planet, 91 Aquarii b. The planet's mass is 2. 9 times the mass of Jupiter, and its orbital period is 182 days. Gliese 849 is a red dwarf star orbited by the first known long period Jupiter like planet, Gliese 849 b. The planet's mass is 0. 99 times that of Jupiter and its orbital period is 1852 days. There are also less prominent systems in Aquarius. WASP 6, a type G8 star of magnitude 12. 4, is host to one exoplanet, WASP 6b. The star is 307 parsecs from Earth and has a mass of 0. 888 solar masses and a radius of 0. 
87 solar radii. WASP-6b was discovered in 2008 by the transit method. It orbits its parent star every 3. 36 days at a distance of 0. 042 astronomical units. It is 0. 503 Jupiter masses but has a proportionally larger radius of 1. 224 Jupiter radii. HD 206610, a K0 star located 194 parsecs from Earth, is host to one planet, HD 206610 b. The host star is larger than the Sun, more massive at 1. 56 solar masses and larger at 6. 1 solar radii. The planet was discovered by the radial velocity method in 2010 and has a mass of 2. 2 Jupiter masses. It orbits every 610 days at a distance of 1. 68 astronomical units. Much closer to its sun is WASP-47b, which orbits every 4. 15 days only 0. 052 AU from its sun, yellow dwarf WASP-47. WASP-47 is close in size to the sun, having a radius of 1. 15 solar radii and a mass even closer at 1. 08 solar masses. WASP-47b was discovered in 2011 by the transit method, like WASP-6b. It is slightly larger than Jupiter with a mass of 1. 14 Jupiter masses and a radius of 1. 15 Jupiter masses. There are several more single planet systems in Aquarius. HD 210277, a magnitude 6. 63 yellow star located 21. 29 parsecs from Earth, is host to one known planet, HD 210277b. The 1. 23 Jupiter mass planet orbits at nearly the same distance as Earth orbits the Sun, 1. 1 astronomical unit, though its orbital period is significantly longer at around 442 days. HD 210277b was discovered earlier than most of the other planets in Aquarius, detected by the radial velocity method in 1998. The star it orbits resembles the Sun beyond their similar spectral class, it has a radius of 1. 1 solar radii and a mass of 1. 09 solar masses. HD 212771b, a larger planet at 2. 3 Jupiter masses, orbits host star HD 212771 at a distance of 1. 22 astronomical units. The star itself, barely below the threshold of naked eye visibility at magnitude 7. 6, is a G84 star located 131 parsecs from Earth. Though it has a similar mass to the Sun, 1. 15 solar masses, it is significantly less dense with its radius of 5 solar radii. Its lone planet was discovered in 2010 by the radial velocity method, like several other exoplanets in the constellation. As of 2013, there were only two known multiple planet systems within the bounds of Aquarius, the Gliese 876 and HD 215152 systems. The former is quite prominent, the latter has only two planets and has a host star farther away at 21. 5 parsecs. The HD 215152 system consists of the planets HD 215152b and HD 215152c orbiting their K0 type, magnitude 8. 13 Sun. Both discovered in 2011 by the radial velocity method, the two tiny planets orbit very close to their host star. HD 215152c is the larger at 0. 0097 Jupiter masses, its smaller sibling is barely smaller at 0. 0087 Jupiter masses. The error in the mass measurements is large enough to make this discrepancy statistically insignificant. HD 215152c also orbits further from the star than HD 215152b, 0. 0852 AU compared to 0. 0652. On February 23, 2017, NASA announced that ultra-cool dwarf star TRAPPIST-1 in Aquarius has seven Earth-like rocky planets. Of these, three are in the system's habitable zone, and may contain water. The discovery of the TRAPPIST-1 system is seen by astronomers as a significant step toward finding life beyond Earth. The green being Galaxy J2240 lies in the constellation of Aquarius because of its position away from the galactic plane, the majority of deep-sky objects in Aquarius are galaxies globular clusters, and planetary nebulae. Aquarius contains three deep-sky objects that are in the Messier catalogue, the globular clusters Messier 2, Messier 72, 
and the asterism Messier 73. While M73 was originally catalogued as a sparsely populated open cluster, modern analysis indicates the six main stars are not close enough together to fit this definition, reclassifying M73 as an asterism. Two well-known planetary nebulae are also located in Aquarius, the Saturn Nebula, to the southeast of Mu Aquarii, and the famous Helix Nebula, southwest of Delta Aquarii. M2, also catalogued as NGC 7089, is a rich globular cluster located approximately 37,000 light-years from Earth. At magnitude 6. 5, it is viewable in small aperture instruments, but a 100 mm aperture telescope is needed to resolve any stars. M72, also catalogued as NGC 6981, is a small ninth magnitude globular cluster located approximately 56,000 light-years from Earth. M73, also catalogued as NGC 6994, is an open cluster with highly disputed status. Aquarius is also home to several planetary nebulae. NGC 7009, also known as the Saturn Nebula, is an eighth magnitude planetary nebula located 3,000 light years from Earth. It was given its moniker by the 19th century astronomer Lord Rasa for its resemblance to the planet Saturn in a telescope. It has faint protrusions on either side that resemble Saturn's rings. It appears blue-green in a telescope and has a central star of magnitude 11. 3. Compared to the Helix Nebula, another planetary nebula in Aquarius, it is quite small. NGC 7293, also known as the Helix Nebula, is the closest planetary nebula to Earth at a distance of 650 light-years. It covers 0. 0.25 square degrees, making it also the largest planetary nebula as seen from Earth. However, because it is so large, it is only viewable as a very faint object, though it has a fairly high integrated magnitude of 6. 0. One of the visible galaxies in Aquarius is NGC 7727, of particular interest for amateur astronomers who wish to discover or observe supernovae. A spiral galaxy, it has an integrated magnitude of 10. 7 and is 3 by 3 arcseconds. NGC 7252 is a tangle of stars resulting from the collision of two large galaxies and is known as the Atoms for Peace galaxy because of its resemblance to a cartoon atom. There are three major meteor showers with radiance in Aquarius, the Eta Aquariids, the Delta Aquariids, and the Iota Aquariids. The Eta Aquariids are the strongest meteor shower radiating from Aquarius. It peaks between 5 and 6 May with a rate of approximately 35 meteors per hour. Originally discovered by Chinese astronomers in 401, Eta Aquariids can be seen coming from the water jar beginning on 21st of April and as late as 12th of May. The parent body of the shower is Halley's Comet, a periodic comet. Fireballs are common shortly after the peak, approximately between 9 May and 11th of May. The normal meteors appear to have yellow trails. The Delta Aquariids is a double radiant meteor shower that peaks first on 29th of July and second on 6th of August. The first radiant is located in the south of the constellation, while the second radiant is located in the northern circlet of Pisces asterism. The southern radiance peak rate is about 20 meteors per hour, while the northern radiance peak rate is about 10 meteors per hour. The Iota Aquariids is a fairly weak meteor shower that peaks on 6th of August, with a rate of approximately 8 meteors per hour. As of 2002, the Sun appears in the constellation Aquarius from 16 February to 12th of March. In tropical astrology, the Sun is considered to be in the sign Aquarius from 20 January to 19th of February, and in sidereal astrology, from 15 February to 14th of March. Aquarius is also associated with the age of Aquarius, a concept popular in 1960s counterculture. Despite this prominence, the age of Aquarius will not dawn until the year 2597, as an astrological age does not begin until the Sun is in a particular constellation on the vernal equinox. Thanks for watching.